Hey guys, King of Games here, bringing you my uh, Peer Arcane build um, post DLC. First, we'll take a look at the stats. Um, level 97. Believe it or not, I managed to get the whole thing done without going over that. Obviously, uh, 50 in vitality as an invader, 20 in endurance. 16 in strength to wield the moonlight, great sword, 16 in skill. Um, you only need 12 to wield the great sword, but uh, it's more of a quality than arcane weapon anyway, so I decided to make it even with the strength. Uh, but mostly it'll be in um, the green modes, transformation mode, so. Uh, I dumped 40 in the arcane and you could take those four points and put them in the arcane too and add another three to make yourself level 100 um, or just go up enough to make it so you have 50 arcane I'm sure it'll hit harder but I use the one hand mode too so that's fine blood tinge is at base and arcane obviously is at 40 uh, my runes are just the ones you find in game. I didn't do any challenge dungeons for this build. I got all this done in a day, but you know, you obviously, if you can, get the better runes. But got the uh, boost max HP plus 10%, boost max stamina plus 15%. And I used to use the visceral attack rune on all my builds, but the boost rally potential one is great for. Uh, PvE and PvP, especially if you use the heavier weapons like hyper armor through and basically heal yourself back up. But you have to be using an attack with hyper armor, and obviously, the stamina recovery speed up because I'm using well, it's just the best general all around room. Uh, now, for the gear, obviously, the Moonlight Sword plus 10. Now secondary is the Tenitris. Um, Tenitris was, I mean, it was either that or the Blades of Mercy and the bla this spell scales better with Arcane. But um, the flat gems, I've, they, don't, uh, they don't help out like you think they would. Even with 40 Arcane, it's just better to use regular Cursed Gems but these are the two weapons I'll be using I have footage out of that obviously the arcane tools call beyond it's good for uh, you already know about that but it's good for like if you got them in enclosed spaces like the boss fight things like that or just to keep them at range or to catch them coming in now this one the yeah, eye is pretty good and testing I've got footage of it I'll show you it's pretty fast and they don't really expect it coming sometimes they confuse it with the other one here but this one leaves a little AOE so I find using them both in uh, different situations works out haven't had much practice with an arcane build but I did get in a few fights today and this one is good for um, when you're outnumbered definitely because they don't expect it. I mean, if they dodge, they can still get hit by it, so it's good. This, I just, I don't know. It fools a lot of people. I mean, all you gotta do is dodge through it, but they tend to dodge backwards and run, and it lets me get a few attacks. Also, if they do dodge through, if my spacing is good, I can uh, catch them coming in. And this is like an MVP right now. Not, uh, I don't find it. I didn't find it great in a normal game, but in the new PvP areas, it's a lot of like doorways and things like that. Well, I don't know if they'll stay the main PvP areas, but I mean, I usually just back up into the doorway and time it and they'll come in charging into it and get hit by it, but those are tools I'm basically using for the... Now, armor doesn't really matter where what you want. Um, this is... I mean, just using a regular pistol for parrying, uh, didn't really upgrade it or anything, but it's the best parry tool. You're looking for damage, find something else. And the shield, because I know a lot of uh, arcane builds and blood tinge builds and the 
I actually got footage of um somebody using the bow and just picking me apart and you know after that I decided just to get the shield and cause I couldn't you know that things shouldn't be that accurate for what it is but oh man that things accurate and it hits hard could be that I'm just low level because a lot of people in the DLC are uh Man, they're like 150. I can tell from the souls I get, they're like 150 and up. But, uh, yeah, I'd recommend the shield definitely. I'm probably gonna use it on all my builds from this point on. But, um, that's about it for the build. I get you guys some footage out. Um, probably in a couple days. I don't know. I gotta get my blood tinge build through the DLC. And that's it. Later, guys.